Hey, and good morning. We've got a few folks on the line here. We'll wait our traditional three to five minutes. We do not actually have Liz today, so I will be playing the part of Liz. It's going to be a good time. Hello and welcome Justin Cormack, who has turned on his video and I can see it. Hello. Welcome, welcome. We'll do full, like, you know, happy welcome mm -hmm. times, like, you know, as we get all the way through here, bud. And good morning. Hello. Lots of folks joining in, and we're only two minutes past, so we'll give it a few more minutes in here. Thank you. I'm holding a little bit because I don't yet see our uh, first group on the line for SIG storage yet. And, you know, it's four minutes after, so I'll be able to give them a second. Otherwise, I'll read their slides with them. All right, it is five afterwards in here, so I think we will get going. I know we definitely want to be able to welcome our new TOC members and kick off our um, new group here. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Assuming that everything looks like it's supposed to. There it goes. Our normal antitrust policy notice. Our meeting logistics, because this is where you all are. And here is our TOC members present today. Welcome to our new TOC. We are now at the point where um, we now have 11 of you. Yes, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, now is your time to be able to like, you know, 
drop in a couple notes in here. I see a few of you here. Not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. So excited to work with everybody who's uh, just coming on board. Yeah, and this marks our first meeting of the term. You all officially are established as like real members. This is now our official TOC. Um, so part of this is also being able to let the community know that if they are looking for people to be able to help sponsor either their SIG or some of their projects, that these are the people to be able to go to. Um, and, you know, that's, that's basically it. Um, yeah, Justin, is that anything from you guys? Um, yeah, I just want to say hello. Um, thank you very much to the maintainers for um, appointing me. I think it's really exciting that that we've got a maintain a position that's rated for by the maintainers because they're, they're extremely important important people in this group. And um, if you don't know me, um, I'm always happy to talk to people. I'm based in the UK, but I'm in the in the US a lot, so. Um, feel free to ping me and I'd be glad to talk to you. On the same note, I'm not sure if everyone can hear me, but hi, my name is Katie and I'm very, very excited to be part of the TOC uh, member board. Uh, I'm looking very, looking forward to collaborate with everyone. Um, I'm based in London as well. So as previously mentioned, if you have any questions in regards to anything, I would be more than happy to help. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Shen, uh, Shen Liang. I'm based in uh, Bay Area, Cupertino. Really excited to be on the TOC. I've been working with, uh, uh, you know, Kubernetes and a lot of folks on the TOC for a few years. So, so really excited. Hello, everyone. My name is Todd. I am also based in the Bay Area. Very, very excited to be part of the TOC. Uh, and uh, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is there. Uh, very excited to listen, learn, uh, understand what uh, problems folks are facing and uh, look forward to helping work with this uh, community to address those. And Sheng, unless you've already gone. Yep, are we good? All right, lovely. Good to see all of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we will be seeing all of you for uh, the new people that are stuck here for the next two years. Thank you very much. So, all right, our agenda. Um, we've got our normal SIG updates. I'm hoping to be able to have some process updates at the end of the time as well. And we have some uh, space for any other items of business. So um, with that, I will hand it off to Storage, which has a lot to say today. So please go ahead. Hi, um, so, um, so first off, we are um, as, you, as you're aware, we had launched um, our storage landscape um, sort of 18 months ago now. We're planning to do a 2.0 release. Um, and this is going to incorporate um, the latest uh, database additions that um, Sugu and his team have been working on. Um, and we're, we're just about completed there in the waiting review. Um, and we've also had a revamp of the management interfaces um, section to to kind of reflect the, the the changes in in the ecosystem over the last uh, couple of years um, and the idea is that we'll be reviewing this uh, next week um, and then merge this into the um, into the into the mainline doc and publish the 2.0 doc for kubecon um, the performance and benchmarking white paper we had had a bit of a lull over over sort of Christmas and, and the new year. Um, but we've now added a couple of other authors and the drafting and testing is in progress. Um, and we're expecting an updated draft next week as well. Um, we've had um, for the storage use case library, which um, which as a reminder, this is this um, going to be a library to cover um, best practice and um, different options for how to deploy storage for for different uh, use cases where we've we've come up with the um, first set of categories that we're going to be um, that we're going to be working on and we'll have um, updated templates um, shortly again we, we want to launch the, the, the use case with, with the first sort of five or six um, use case categories um, for kubecon um, we've 
been discussing the, the, the process and the template for sandbox and incubation processes. Um, Erin has put together the, um, the merged documents um, from that, that were available from the different templates and the different SIGs. Um, it would be really great if we could get reviews and comments on that. Um, and, I, and I suspect, obviously, that that will be the topic for the talk and SIG chairs um, uh, meeting too. Um, and then finally, uh, we, we, we reviewed Dragonfly, including um, installing it and, and, and doing some sort of uh, basic failure testing. Um, and we've, said we've sent uh, feedback and clarifying questions back to the project team. Um, and as soon as we get the responses for that, we'll incorporate it into the due diligence document. Um, and finally, uh, Project Harbor, the, the storage elements of Harbor are due to be um, are due to be reviewed, possibly at the February 12th meeting, depending on how the SIG grant time uh, um, um, review is, is proceeding. That's it for me. All right, any questions? Anything else people wanna be able to ask about this? We are likely going to talk about the process template at the uh, bottom of the uh, meeting as well. Oh, I see something in the chat from Josh. Um, talking about uh, benchmarking and Kubernetes. Um, yes, I'd love to hear from you, Josh, and maybe we can we can join up some of those initiatives. Super. All right, we can move on. Um, six security it says January on here, but that might not be accurate. I'm not got any of those folks on the line. Um, I think I see Dan Shaw in here. Updates from the space side of the world. All right, we can move on. App delivery. Are they here? Let us see. Also not seeing any folks online. Is someone here? But okay, yeah, we've got our, um, these folks are working on the final line project review. I know this is something that a lot of people have been asking about um, as far as what's going on with like how our projects are moving through. And I think this is a pretty good example of being able to see which projects are actually in flight. Um, their meetings are going to be this Thursday. So if you're interested about this, please look on the CNCF public calendar and um, you'll learn more there. So I will drop on through here. SIG runtime. I know we've got some of those folks here. Hey, I'm here. So Hello. <clears throat> yeah, so um, a few updates. Uh, so the SIG got approved uh, a couple of weeks ago. So thank you for everyone who voted, uh, finally approved. Um, uh, so uh, uh, we're looking at a meeting uh, next Thursday. Thursday, and there's going to be a presentation on sandbox presentation on volcano, and then uh, we'll make a recommendation. And uh, based on that, uh, uh, we'll uh, talk to the TUC members uh, whether we want to make the to go forward with that or not. And then next up will be uh, Kita. That's uh, uh, sorry, volcano is uh, batch workloads and Kubernetes uh, uh, natively. Uh, and then next up is um, Kita, that's uh, Kubernetes event-driven uh, auto-scaling. Uh, that's also scheduled for sandbox review. And um, we're scheduling that meeting uh, two weeks from Thursday. So then the next meeting uh, after the, the, the one that we have coming up. And uh, Harbor, so I heard um, uh, from the uh, six storage uh, folks that they're actually waiting for us. So, so we're actually waiting for some more critical mass in the SIG. So the SIG just got approved. Uh, so once we get more critical mass, then uh, we'll start uh, doing the due diligence and as far as the runtime components for hardware. Uh, the other update that I have, I don't, Amy, I don't think we have enough uh, quorum in this meeting. So I'd like to call a vote for the new, a new co-chair. That's Diane Fidima from Red Hat. Um, 
so I, I'm, I'm looking for suggestions about what uh, would be the best course of action here. So that yep. ping me offline. We'll start. Uh, we'll start a proper vote. Okay, great, great, awesome. So and and then so we have um, a new tech leads and contributors. So we have Urbashi from Red Hat, uh, and then uh, Peng uh, from uh, Microsoft. Sorry, I'm actually. I think I lost my slides here. So, yeah. So, and then we have uh, uh, Murnal, Murnal Patel from from Red Hat. So, I'm gonna nominate those two folks. So, so the process for nominating uh, tech leads is uh, in it's a two third vote from the, the co chairs and a two third vote uh, from the TOC. Right. So, I'm gonna set those up for votes as well. So, I'll need uh, some help from you. Uh, Amy, after the meeting or, you know, going forward. Yeah, happy to take a look at that. Yeah, and yeah, and, and that's it for the updates. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take any questions, anybody has any questions. I think um, just, to, just to clarify this, the last time that um, we wanted to add, um, a co-chair or um, or a tech lead. Um, we just needed, uh, according to the SIG charter, we just need a two-thirds majority of the TOC members to vote. So, so um, I don't know if we have quorum today, but we can possibly do a verbal vote, or or then maybe do it by email separately if if there aren't enough people online. Yeah, I I don't think we have quorum today. So, so. I just counted. I've got seven out of eleven. Oh, we do have seven out of 11. Uh, let me check just to make sure. So I see Justin Cormack, yes. I think seven's the number we have to have, right? Uh, I believe so, but I'm gonna check to make sure we've still got everybody online. The people that I'm missing right now are Brendan Burns, Brian Grant, Jeff Brewer, and Liz Rice. Liz, I already knew about. I'm, I'm here. Oh, score! I was, a little, I, I was a little late. I was a little late, I apologize for that. All right. Yeah, so. Maybe I can call a vote for Diane now. So um, I need to look at the, her bio, for just to give me a second here. So um, uh, just give me, yeah. Okay, I got it here. So, um, okay, yeah, so, Diane Fidima, uh, uh, she's interested in being the SIG Runtime Co-Chair. She's a Principal Software Engineer at Red Hat in the AI Center of Excellence in the CTO's office. I have a background in high performance computing and have, and have been working on AI machine learning applications and benchmarking at Red Hat for seven years. I'm interested in this role because I'm working with our hardware partners uh, to enable hardware acceleration, uh, GPU, uh, FPGAs, et cetera, that will run on Kubernetes and OpenShift. And there's a link to the, her LinkedIn profile. Uh, I'll paste it on the chat there. Uh, so yeah, so just need a vote uh, from the TOC members. All right, for the first time in a while, we actually have quorum and can do a live vote. I will go ahead and kick it off. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we've done this in a while. So we've got Brendan Burns on the line. We've got Justin Cormack, Katie Jumanji. We have Matt Klein, Michelle Norelli, Sad, uh, Xing Liang, and Zhang Li. Yes? Anyone I've missed? Question, do we vote verbally or do we just vote? Plus do a plus chat? one in the chat because I would love to be able to have records for this. Thank you. Amazing, thank you. Yes. Drop a plus one in the chat. I see Matt Klein, I see Justin Cormack, I see Zhang Li, I see Michelle Norelli. Zhang? Sorry, I'm driving. I wait till I get to a safe place to fiddle with my phone. Okay, then I will I will I will consider this a a, a voice vote for you then. Thanks. You can put that in the chat if you need it for the record. Is that a plus one or a minus one? 
That's a plus one, please. Thank you. Okay. I believe we have our new chair. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. New co-chair. Excellent. So yeah, the vote is plus one from Matt Klein, plus one from Justin Cormack, plus one from Zhang Li, Michelle, Katie, Shane, and Sad. And a verbal plus one from Brandon. So this passes. Thank you all. Cool. I'm glad we had everyone here for this. All right. Anything else that we needed to be able to talk about for a SIG runtime? Cool. Nope. All right. Uh, Welcome, the, everyone. The, the one more thing is that, that, yeah. that we're going to do the, the votes later for, for some of these tech leads. So, um, and so it'll, it'll, come, it'll come up like in the next few days. So That's perfect. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, so as we have quorum, all is well. All right. Other questions on SIG runtime? Anything else? Nope. All right, then I will move us along. Um, SIG network is unfortunately not able to join us today, I believe. Oh, actually, I take it back. Ken might be here. Might have some of the books here. Ken, are you on the line? Ken, I, I am. Sorry. Yay. I'm not on mute. I oh, yeah, no, no. Cleans no up at one time. <laughs> Um, so we have been um, meeting on the first and third Thursdays of every month and have had quite a bit of interest. And so um, definitely would enjoy others and especially the new TFC members. If you want to kind of join us sometime and check out what we're talking about, you're welcome to. And um, it's been, uh, Matt has been doing a great job of keeping us on task and uh, you can see how to connect with us. And there's really nothing else right now to update you on. Thanks. Great. All right. Any questions for SIG Network this morning? Then we will move along towards our new work in progress, um, SIG Contributor Strategy, which that name may or may not change. So Paris, I'll pass to you. Hello, Yay. everyone. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Uh, I am Paris, work at Google. I used to do this contributor experience thing for Kubernetes for a while. Uh, nice to meet you all. Josh, say hello as well. Josh Berkus. You probably have to call. Howdy. All right. Josh is uh, another ringleader for this and has been a great help. Uh, so for those that were not on the lines uh, for the last two TOC calls, we proposed this little shindig of a SIG called contributor experience. Uh, but we've changed the name because we do not want to duplicate Kubernetes community and thus confuse folks further. So we're looking at contributor strategy. What do you all think? Uh, I'll ask you at the end. So some of the areas that we're going to be focusing on from, uh, from our proposal standpoint is project governance, uh, Josh uh, taking, uh, taking much of that, uh, contributor outreach and growth, uh, and maintainer health and leadership circles, uh, which I can explain in a minute. Um, but all of these things would equate uh, and boil up to ultimately a contributing.md project health check for evaluation periods during, uh, during CNCF projects. No, that doesn't mean we're going to audit, that we're going to audit your contributing markdown file. That's just me attempting a really terrible pun. That's why I said naming, naming's hard, TVD. Um, but hopefully you understand and get what we're trying to do here. Um, so how we're going to do this, we're going to recruit more people, we're going to get the word out. Um, please help us. Uh, how we're going to do this is uh, get involved with more uh, project mailing lists, uh, email our charter out to folks, try to get some people to help us, um, form working groups for each of these focus areas. Uh, we already have some of those going, but uh, you can see on our charter, um, AB actually, if you update the slides, if you hit refresh, you're going to get an updated, you're going to get an updated deck. You don't want to do it right now. Um, but in the, in the updated deck, there is a link to the charter and things like that, that you can check out um, and help us get the word out. There's actually a parking lot of future roadmap things that we could do if we had the help to do it. Uh, Josh and I have done a lot of those things before, for instance, like contributor metrics, uh, for instance, but we just don't have the help right now. We want to focus because this thing can get sort of broad fast. 
Um, some other things we're going to do is be drafting guidelines, documentation, evaluation criteria, again, for that health check, status check of projects as it relates to their contributor activities. Um, and then, of course, continue with discovery uh, because we want to hear what projects actually need. We already have a ton of information from TOC members like Matt with his information about uh, like what projects need doc, uh, as well as like Chris A has done maintainer surveys in the past with CNCF. So we do have some of that data as well. Uh, and then we can do some immediate impact things. Josh and I and a lot of other people that uh, have shown interest already have tons of training materials, talks, etc. on things like hey, we use Help Wanted and Issue and Good First Issue, but we're still not getting people, like what's next? Or hey, I have a contributing markdown file, so what? Um, trainings like that, like we can help out with, uh, or like shadows and uh, apprenticeships and things like that and building that into your programs and projects. All right, next slide, Amy. So we are still drafting this charter. We have to go for a vote uh, to the TOC. Amy, I don't know if you want to fill us in on what that timeline looks like, uh, but our next meeting is uh, next Thursday, not this Thursday, at 10 a.m. Pacific. Yes, we still want you, need you. Please help us. <laughs> Josh, did I miss anything? Uh, no, it's about it. So next meeting um, will be uh, finishing up the initial charter um, because of the nature of the SIG. Um, we want to have that charter a lot more nailed down than necessarily other SIG charters have been. Um, uh, for that matter, um, as a demonstration as part of our charter, we want to actually outline the process of handling uh, working groups within a SIG um, because the CNCF has not had that sort of process documented before since it's new. Um, I, and uh, that was a request talking with some of the CNCF staff. Um, so the goal is going to be to get that nailed down and then to actually, I guess, put the SIG up for a vote um, on the next TOC meeting. I'm doing the, the hand wave back and forth because like, I'm not necessarily certain that we need to be able to have like a direct TOC meeting vote for it. What typically happens is that everybody does exactly what you're doing right now is like, oh man, we'll get our, our, our charter all kind of put together and like we like it enough that we would, we would agree to be able to do this. And then you put it into a PR and that's where we run a vote from. I mean, I feel like the charter is in a good place, Josh. So let's get off the, let, let's take off the, let's get off the line today and I think we can I feel like it's almost at a PR state. So let's see. There was a question about details for contributor strategy meeting details. Um, we can follow up with that offline. Mostly yeah. because I don't think you actually want to read like a Zoom link out loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can put it in the slides so, too. Can you just put it in? Yeah, you put it in the slides. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, can, we can put it in the slides. Yeah, since we're not official, we don't have like the official channels. Um, I can make you official channels. You seem like you're 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 ready for that. Uh, yeah. If yeah. we if we can get the channels, then let's do it. All right, and then we'll put those on the slides as well. Does Other anybody, questions? Does anybody not like this? All right. <laughs> I wanted to ask that. I'm sorry. I just wasn't. Not like well, no one on the call is actually like you know um, uh, violently upset about it, but that doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean that we want to have some some conversation well, yeah. in um, mailing lists. How about this? How about this? Is anybody upset with our initial focus areas? Because the deal is like it's humans, right? We've got like fifty million things that we could do for these projects, but like how can we boil this down to impact the most projects with? I mean, Josh and myself, and I think Jared and like maybe a few others said that they, we have like six to eight hours a week, for instance, like we even like went to the nitty gritty. So it's like, well, how can we invest our time here wisely that impacts the most? So that's kind of, this is what we boiled down so far. And we really hope that we can grow this to other levels. So.
I've moved this back to the actual um, uh, initial areas of focus to be able to let people see exactly what the scope of this is. Um, any any comments, any feedback? Hey, Paris, this is uh, Ricardo. Yeah, I think it, this is great. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, initially uh, you might want to focus uh, a little bit on the, uh, you know, kind of make make it smaller, you know, start small and then grow from there. So I guess, uh, there's a lot of different aspects in, in you know, in helping our contributors. And I, for me, I think one of the, the important ones is um, maintain our health. Uh, so, cause uh, uh, you know, for some of the feedback and some of the mailing list uh, was that some of the maintainers were burned out or, or they're not being supported, you know, that type of thing. So uh, if, if there's a group of people and documentation that helps them out, you know, I think it's, it's just wonderful. For sure. And that's the, the circles that I didn't really go into, which is focus groups, honestly. I know that sounds weird. It's not like focus groups as in like, we're just going to get marketing out of you all, but it's like circles as in you're also going to provide camaraderie. And um, some of you already may be in leadership circles outside of open source, maybe like at your company or something where everybody gets together and, uh, you know, you share things and um, like share best practices and whatnot. But that's really also where we can hear as a SIG to what needs to happen uh, and what we need to do to make things better. So it's sort of a kind of a really great feedback loop for us. Um, and then also provide training to you specifically as mentors. Uh, and then we can even talk about some of the hard stuff like burnout as well. So that's kind of what I meant by circles. Uh, if I could jump in here. Um, yeah. So uh, I've been working with uh, Cheryl to figure out how to get uh, end user feedback um, in SIGs and end user participation. Um, so that may be something that the SIG wants to look into or have some hand in um, like in the future, but I don't want to increase um, scope here. Uh, so I just wanted to mention it and drop this, um, the link to the issue that we've been chatting on. Um, by no means do I expect the SIG to take it like right now or whenever, but I just wanted to throw it out there. So if there's interest later down the line. Um, For sure. Yeah. That's honestly, that was about to be the fourth bullet, Michelle. Honestly, oh, wow. um, the fourth bullet, like, uh, jo you know, Josh has been like, trim the bullets. I, <laughs> yeah. um, no, that's, that's definitely on the, that's in the charter as well, honestly, as, as one of our pillars, I think. And we just want more help. So we, we know how to do it. Like, and I, I feel like I know I have some ideas as well. So if we can recruit some more help, that's going to be the fourth bullet. Yeah, awesome. Um, I think Cheryl will be a great resource. Yeah. Like I mentioned, we can just make sure you, the scope that y'all have defined here looks great to me. Um, this is a, a great, a great starting point, great charter. Um, we can just go forward and, and see, uh, you know, how much, um, how much Cheryl needs in terms of interaction. I think she's, she's got a really good grasp on uh, how to communicate with the end user members and and I'm sure she can be a great resource here. So maybe inviting her to some meetings or having her give us an update or or something might be um, something for sure. And yeah, we have some best practices too with like we're trying to create these, you know, user groups within the Kubernetes upstream community, probably very similar to like what's going on here where, you know, obviously users just want to give feedback to us, but don't necessarily want to come to a SIG meeting. So Maybe we could do that on a larger scale collectively too. And again, yet reason 455 as to why I want to do this SIG. So yay, <laughs> together. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to this, this work. Thanks again. Yay, other questions? Anything else around this? Do you, do you guys have check Yeah, do you guys have a plan to uh grow the SIG? Uh, I mean, in terms of like uh, getting more people, uh, trying to get more people involved, right? So, uh, you know, with, uh, I think you talked about the Kubernetes uh, user groups. Are, are, are you guys have any a, a list of things? I think it would be a good idea to come up with a list of things of, of uh, you know, places that you can reach out and, and try to get people involved in the SIG because it sounds like uh, there's a lot of work to do. Yep, yep. There's actually 
um, on the updated slide, I, I was like doing slides literally like during this meeting, you know, that's me in detention kind of thing. Anyway, um, no, there's on the updated slides, I have a little bit more about that bullet for recruit more people. So if you're on the slides, the live slides now, we definitely intend on doing sort of a campaign uh, once we have the charter flushed out, the campaign being uh, going to more uh, project mailing lists like uh, y'all's dev mailing lists. Uh, also using and trying to beef up the maintainer list that CNCF has to, uh, to get some more collective voices on there. Also reach out to Cheryl, which uh, is what we just discussed, uh, and try to get some more time in front of the end user community uh, officially and formally and figure out some more, uh, some strength, some, you know, some strengthening, strengthening the pipeline there. Uh, and then of course, um, also going to Kubernetes. I know a lot of Kubernetes folks that are interested in this as well, um, to collaborate. So I think once we get started and once we get up off the ground and get a charter and get uh, some more communication pipelines going, so Slack and our mailing list and things like that, because right now we just don't have any way for people to contact us unless they like know me and Josh uh, and some of the other people that have come forward of interest. So I think once we get going, we're gonna, we're gonna see some, hopefully some more people and that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I think folks just wanna see us up and running at this point. So I have quickly refreshed slides. Your new slides are here. Woo! And a third bullet that I didn't even finish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's live, y'all. We're live. <laughs> all right. Any other questions for SIG Contrib Strategy? Um, whatever we're going to call it, all of that. I have a question. Is there any intention to actually promote this further, maybe during KubeCon? Is there any uh, intended maybe booths for this specific SIG or time with the SIG um, uh, members or anything like that? So one of the things that we do try to do for the SIG is to be able to make sure that all of them get a session at KubeCon. Um, at this point in time, I can't guarantee that there's going to be exact session for them, but we will make sure that there is time to be able to meet with all of the SIGs at KubeCon. Awesome. Sure. Other questions? Anything else? Okay, um, I will actually move us on here, assuming that I can get us to do that, um, and drop in towards, there we go. Yep, here's your updated revised charter thing in here for SIG contributor strategy. I think we've probably gone through most of this. And we can move on towards process updates, but before we do, I know that there was another SIG that wants to be able to talk about um, uh, forming in here that doesn't necessarily have slides today. Matt, um, in the interest of time, are you willing to be able to talk about your SIG observability? Yes, I can be brief, bright, and gone. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Matt. Um, uh, I've generated and drafted a very early um, proposal uh, for a charter uh, for one of the proposed SIGs, uh, SIG observability. Um, observability is something that really touches everyone and us all. Uh, and so uh, it seemed like a no-brainer. Uh, and I've always been a geek for logging, monitoring, alerting, tracing, and the like. Um, uh, my plan uh, is to send out via email uh, a call for who's interested uh, in having a look at this charter. Um, it's in markdown format now, but I'll drop it into a Google Doc. Uh, so and I just can... dropped it into chat. Oh, sure. Uh, well, uh, I don't have it. Uh, I, I, I will get with you after the meeting about the right place to have the Google Doc. Right now, uh, there's a PR and a private for, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a fork of the TOC, so I can do that as well. Um, oh, cool. You just dropped it. Um, yes, your, your, your markdown uh, file is available for the people to be able to look at. <laughs> yeah, it's very early, uh, and it's just at the start. Um, I think uh, the goal would be for the next uh, couple of weeks uh, to just see who's interested in, in helping to collaborate and iterate on the charter uh, and then provide cadenced updates uh, uh, in the TLC meetings, um, uh, tracking to have something uh, ready for a vote uh, in whatever time makes sense. But ideally, uh, I would love to have this launched by KubeCon. 
um, uh, clearly. Uh, so uh, I welcome all feedback and uh, I'm super excited uh, to meet many of you uh, and see if we can launch this. Um, I think given the breadth of tooling that exists and what's going on in the whole ecosystem uh, around monitoring and uh, observation of cloud native systems uh, and not just you know capturing you know the three pillars but gaining meaningful insights into the behavior of these very complex systems uh, at Everquote here and run a cloud engineering team and we every day work with all of our engineering teams and our problems and our challenges and our opportunities are not unique. So uh, with that, I'll be done. Uh, I'll have a mail out to whatever the right uh, email address is. I'll work with you on it. Um, but thank you. Uh, so I'm uh, looking forward to meeting uh, with, with the communities. Nope, it's good to be able to see this rise. And this is something we were talking about at the end of last year um, as something that was really missing for the SIGs. Um, so happy to be able to take input on this happy to be able to see who of the toc would like to be a liaison because i believe that is one of the things you are missing matt correct me if i'm wrong uh, i'm sorry um my uh, you, a toc liaison is part of the process so you have somebody from the toc that you work with directly to be able to get information back and forth yes uh yes so uh that is one thing that uh, we don't have yet uh, again uh, the charter was just drafted um, an initial draft, rather, a starting place um, uh, just in the past week. So uh, it's very early days. Questions, comments, anything from anyone on the lines? Like I said, it's good to be able to see this stuff rise up. So. Yeah, I have a um, question. So uh, are you going to put this up on a, on a Word doc so we can actually comment? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Is, the next steps is to be able to put this over into a document. And uh, I believe probably a couple of charter review meetings are in order. Yes, uh, I had, uh, being new to the CNCF uh, to, uh, and your user community, uh, I wasn't sure about uh, process and uh, administrivia and such. So I have a, I have a private uh, a PR on my fork, uh, but I was assuming that uh, a Google Doc or something else would be more conducive uh, to uh, collaboration. So, uh, as I said, I'll, I'll have an email out uh, to the relevant uh, list that Amy will help me with after this, uh, and uh, I look forward to to iterating. Yeah. All right. We can move on, I believe, if there's no other questions. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Um, last pieces here this morning are kind of some process updates, and uh, I believe I will turn it over towards uh, Michelle, if you're available to be able to talk about any changes in the flowchart where we are with that. This would be, um, we've, we've shorthanded into the slides, but um, this is a flowchart indicating how a project gets into CNCF. So Michelle, are you available for that conversation? We might have lost Michelle. All right, um, I will move us around from the flow chart pieces um, and talk more about the SIG processes work that's happening. Um, again, we saw at the top of the hour that the storage folks have been working on a template around that. Alex, are you available to go in depth for that? Um, so, so we had, uh, so we, we, we started having um, some regular meetings between the SIG chairs and the TOC. Um, and the, the, the output from that meeting was that we would, um, we would merge um, the available documents together. One, to create a template for um, the information that we wanted to collect for for projects that um, we're going through review, so that we have a standard set um, of um, of uh, I, I guess criteria or, or or a standard set of information that gets collected, um, which which is which is then also used <clears throat> during say review processes or or, or perhaps during um, promotion processes when it goes from say sandbox to incubation etc. Um, and the second point was we, we decided to merge um, the 
uh, the process workflow um, to to kind of have a, 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 a simple documented process with some relevant timelines to cover how a process how a, a project would work through the 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 CNCF um, to get accepted and that involves going through a, a triage process with the TOC and then getting forwarded for um, um, for SIG review and, and finally getting getting sponsorship from from the TOC. Um, I don't have the link the latest link which um, Liz was working on um, for the for the process for the um, the process workflow um, but the link for the for the latest um, Consolidated template is is in the storage SIG um, uh, update page. If uh, if people want to have a quick look at that, so it's the, the the thing that's highlighted in yellow. So we've taken we've taken I think um, a template that was available from SIG apps plus a template that was available from SIG storage and and merged them together um, to have uh, to have a comprehensive list. Um, so we'd love to have we'd love to have um, feedback on that, and at some point we need to have a we need to have a TOC vote to to mm -hmm. make it real. Uh, can you talk about what some of the differences or additions were in the templates? Right. What are the additions uh, that Sig Storage is adding that weren't there before? So so actually most most of the most of the template was was based on our original um, SIG storage template, the one that we used um, when we were doing, um, say, OpenEBS and Longhorn and, and, and JIBOFS. Um, and then we added in some of the content um, to to cover things um, for the incubation um, promotion stage as well, because our, our one had focused primarily on Sandbox. Got it. Thank you. Lee, did you have a comment, question? I was just going to say, you know, from my perspective, it was um, a little bit less, it was less about adding new things, um, more about consolidating a couple of different places that criteria and, um, and data points about the projects were laid out they were laid out in various places and there were there was not necessarily explicit um, with whom to have conversations with and when as those projects come for review to go first to the SIGs or second to the SIGs to the present twice or or not or so, so, so that, I don't know there's so a, that that workflow is is covered in in, in Liz's presentation yeah. she has she has a full sort of um process workflow, um, which unfortunately I don't have the link um, handy, um, but I believe she had shared it on the mailing list. No, she has. And actually, I was just trying to speak to Saeed's um, question real quick with that. I don't know that the template necessarily as it stands today um, adds any new criteria, but just clarifies, just centralizes it. Okay, and so is the ultimate goal of this template to capture the process as well, or just to collect information from per, uh, potential projects that are interested? Like, uh, yeah, the, the latter. I think and that's um, the, the template is the identifies the collection of information, and then the flowchart that isn't being shown currently uh, it speaks to the uh, series of steps. A project um, goes through for review. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Ricardo, I believe, has actually found this particular document, and uh, it is way too long to be able to walk through here in the last like bit that we've got here. Um, so we'll put this on a future meeting because I know this is going to be important for everyone to be able to review, understand, and uh, we'll be moving towards a vote probably before KubeCon on this. So. That actually covers most of the that were on the agenda today. Is there anything else people wanted to be able to bring up? I uh, hear crickets. 
I see no chat and I don't see anybody unmuting quickly. Okay, I will call it and welcome all uh, to our new members. Good to be able to see all of you um, and we look forward to working with you. All right, Hi. everybody Hi. out, Let's go. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, all. Thank you. Bye.